House of Dallas Pop was cracking its D. So apparently Andrew Schultz has responded to this whole shits and gigs drama. He's reacting to the apology and he's giving his take on what went down. Apparently he's spilling some tea as well. A few people have sent me this and they said that he's spilling tea. I need to react to it. So, okay. But let's see what he has to say. Let's watch. Anyway, any <laughs> listeners here that, that are upset at us, we just want to let you know that you're going to stay know. upset. I know he will. Okay. Upset. What we're not going to do is sit here with our up between our legs <laughs> apologizing on the podcast for jokes okay matter of fact we oh, have a new apology good. video that we should definitely watch. i feel like a lot of people didn't even really address him they kind of ignored him because <laughs> it's like you're a troll you nobody cares what you're talking about anyway uh shits and gigs we expected more from you i feel like that's people's sentiment not my sentiment i don't give a fuck about shits and gigs i don't even watch them i don't care um don't care what andrew was talking about either don't watch him either but <laughs> you know i feel like that's why people directed most of their uh outrage towards shits and gigs uh the, the shits and gigs gentlemen came on the podcast i love them i love I, them. I feel bad they're going through this yeah but I, and, and actually i do want to take it seriously because they are they are serious guys and um, I want to stop fucking laughing. <laughs> they're defending their community. I want to. They came on the podcast. They got a lot of flack uh, for laughing at a, at a joke. And I would just want to hear their apology. These are serious fucking guys. And this is a serious. This is a serious apology. Ow. <laughs> Your ass. Ow. Ow. No. Can you take it What's seriously? All right, dude. Okay. I want. All, I don't, Shifty? I haven't seen this. Yeah, that's I, crazy, Shifty. That's crazy. Shifty. Come on, Shifty. Shifty. Shifty's fucking racist. I want everybody to just take this serious, and I want us to try to have a serious moment. Mm -hmm. It's a serious podcast, and I want to just listen to their heartfelt. You know what? I think that also might be an issue. Again, this is just an observation that's based on not much info, because I don't watch these people. But <laughs> based on the clips that I've seen, maybe that's why Andrew's comedy is a bit stunted. Um, and he's not able to grow <laughs> and, and get better as a comedian because these people on this podcast are constantly, you know, uh, sucking him off. It's like you laughing and he ain't even saying nothing funny. Like it's a whole bunch of ass pats taking place where they mainly patting his ass. So I feel like uh, they, they seem to kiss up to him based on the few clips that I've seen. Uh, maybe that doesn't take place most of the time. I'm not sure. But based on what I have observed, that's what it, it seems like is taking place. So that might be, you know, at... Andrew's detriment. It's not allowing you to actually be that funny when you got people around you who are constantly laughing at this unfunny shit. You know? You're not growing as a comedian. Apology. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Right, before we get into today's episode, mm -hmm. uh, quick PSA, quick acknowledgement. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you know, you know. If you don't, that's fine. Um, but we just wanted to address something that's happening at the minute. Yep. This past weekend, uh, there's been a couple of clips going around uh, from when we did a session on the Flagrant podcast um, while we were on our US tour. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, there were a, a few jokes made um, that were incredibly inappropriate. One, speci <laughs> Bro, one specifically pertaining to black women. Yep. Um, and in the clip, don't, um, don't. Andrew was making a joke. Uh, I'm not even going to get into specifics. Don't, making a, don't uh, you like, get Frankly, like, racist joke. Yeah. And <sighs> we were laughing at it. And to give this, this, first of all, before we get into, like, specifics something? or anything like that, obviously there's just literally no excuse. Pause. There is no excuse. Agreed. Pause. There's no excuse. There is no fucking excuse. <laughs> Ow. Um, and Can you pause this? <laughs> pause. No excuse yeah. right I just want to take in the beginning of it. There is no excuse for jokes. <laughs> there is never an excuse for making jokes. But can we try? I'm not gonna ever make an excuse for being a comedian. <laughs> there is never an excuse for making jokes, yeah. okay? Uh, that is a real statement <laughs> said by a man. <laughs> I just want that to be clear. There is never an excuse for making jokes with the boy. Go on, go on. Let's take it serious. Look at look at look at how sad he is over on the left. Thing. Like it is, yeah. Fight yeah. is a real thing. In he so is. Did you see how? Say, we should go back. Like, we should go back because he's going through it right now. Look look how he practiced this. Let me. I'm gonna pick my skin off. I love you finger. guys. <laughs> it does seem something. I don't Look at bite his bottom lip. Like, oh, fuck, man. There is no excuse. Ooh. Um, oh. and Ooh. Because I even said in the other video, I'm like, were y'all that disappointed in yourselves? Because if that was the case, you would have gave this apology months ago when this happened. 
because this happened two months ago and they just issued the apology after the backlash. So the oh, we're so so disappointed. Shouldn't took place. Fake. Like it is, yeah. Fight flight is a real thing, and it's so not easy to say. But it, when you're in those situations, you you look at it through a lens of like, bro, if it was me, I promise you, I'll stand up, I'll kick them cameras down, yeah. I'll smack homeboy in the face, yeah. I'll say this, I'll do that. But when you're in there. You're in shock. You're in shock, and all you want to do is move on. Yeah, all you, bro, Pause, move you, on is the fuck. I've I've been there. I know I know what that's like. When you're just having fun and laughing with the boys, and you're like, I just can't wait to move on. From this. <laughs> uh, don't you know that feeling when you experience the fight or flight, and then you just laugh? <laughs> Does that happen to you guys? When your body is just being torn with the final courtesy to fight or flight, and instead you just go, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Do you guys ever have that feeling? I feel like you're making an excuse for jokes. I'm not... I would never. That sounds like what's your name. Hey, I would never excuse taking two things that have nothing to do with <laughs> one another and then bring them together to make your friends laugh. I would never excuse that, Mark. What if I has a good setup and a misdirection at the end? You're enticing me. <laughs> you're doing that thing where well, you're, no, you're no. kind of tricking me with no, your no. brain. You're using no, your brain no, to no. trick me into agreeing with something I do not want to agree with. I'm, I'm just asking. Please continue. Fucking work, bro. All you want to do is fucking move on. Just move on to the next thing. Just yes, move on to the next thing. Move on. And like, we had to say a few times, bro, just move on. Just move on. Just move yeah. on. So many different times. Like, like, move on, move on, move on. Move yeah. on. Just like, like about petty laughs or anything, but I just wanted to. Get, get out of that situation. Get out, out of there. I know. Keep the ball rolling. And we thought it was going to be more of like a. A bro's. Yeah, yeah right. just so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. something like that. I thought it was going to be that too. <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of those bros chats where you just Stupid. say everything that's polite and proper. I, I did think, <laughs> what do you guys do when you hang out with the boys? Uh, we play games. What kind of games do you play? What we're grateful for. Yo. That's, I, I will sometimes just say 10 things we're grateful for. I, <laughs> I, hate, I hate that you guys have created a, an energy on this podcast where... Instead of just saying what we're grateful for <laughs> and appreciating the community that we build, we try to make each other laugh with inappropriate jokes. I hate that kind of boy saying. Yeah, we should change it. I want to change that. Can we start right now? Let's make it a Shabbat dinner. Yeah, <laughs> let's make it a Shabbat dinner. <laughs> okay, what is that? <laughs> just a vibe, JD. Just a vibe. Yeah. Just talk about our weeks. Be grateful. Yes. Turn down everything else in the world. You see why we'll everyone hates them? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see why? Because that's their idea of fun. Yeah, their yeah. idea of fun is sitting around, eating food that didn't taste good, and then yeah. telling everybody what they're grateful for. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to do that, though. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> that's what we should do. There we go. Can we make an agreement right now? Turn it. No yeah. more inappropriate jokes. I, I like Especially that. Especially from you and even you. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. You never say anything. I don't. I don't. I'm the most appropriate. <laughs> you are. Thank I'm God. Once once. Yeah, I have to be. Please continue. Keep you guys in line. In something that's like really, really hurt people that yeah. look to us for support and look mm -hmm. to us to feel protected. And protected is the main thing yeah. that I wanted to discuss is that <laughs> it is our duty to protect you guys. Pause. Um, Yo. <laughs> I feel like we failed. I feel like... If you felt protected by these people, <laughs> no shade, but I just recommend you going outside and meeting some actual people who can actually be there for you and provide protection. Because what about them screams protection of black women? I don't, I don't see any. Again, I don't watch them, but based on the clips that I've seen, that's just not how they come across at all. So I'm just confused why people felt like, oh, they're such a safe space and I feel like they were you know here to protect us as black women why did you think that yo I feel like we failed oh gosh yo the past how many years have we been doing this six seven the past seven years where did I've been saying that your people fuck mud <laughs> yeah and you've been saying that my people fuck sheep yeah I don't feel like we protected either of you you know what you're right. You're right. And it's our duty to protect people. Scottish people, I just want to say that I apologize to all of you for letting this motherfucker say we fucked <laughs> Scottish? Scottish people, I apologize that you're all so ugly that you have to fuck sheep. <laughs> I apologize for He's that. Scottish? Huh. It's on duty protecting. <laughs> Wait, so where have we seen a video of an Indian guy fucking mud? What is that? We haven't seen one. Oh, really? You've seen a girl, a guy fucking a girl in mud. 
They fuck mud. Oh, no. Nah. Wait a minute. The other video, Southburn. they were going down on the mud. <laughs> 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 now you're doing foreplay. <laughs> 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 it's warming up the mud. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like, can you just say <laughs> say two things you're grateful for? Because what you black you women, that one baby black women, <laughs> baby black women saying if y'all say black, hey, if y'all say black women, it's a problem now. I'm thankful that you guys don't say I'm thankful that I'm not married to a black woman. Don't you say that? God damn! God damn. God damn. God damn. I'm saying what y'all can say. She's from Spain. Yeah. I gotta protect my woman now. <laughs> Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Sorry, Indians, by the way. Where's yeah, the comedy? <laughs> no, I apologize. I should have protected you. I, I mean, apologize. Because you're not capable of protecting yourself. That's the thing. I don't think that you're capable of protecting yourself, so it's my job to protect you. <laughs> I gotta infantilize you, and yeah, I apologize. Yeah. Yeah. And say Indians don't fuck mud. So. I don't think that we have it in us to overcome jokes, so I apologize. I should protect you. You guys have never fucked mud, and you're, you've never smelled. Whoa. Well, I feel like you added that. That's true. And I'm gonna protect us. That is true. How you are you gonna smell? protect them? When do we come here? <laughs> I think they don't smell ever. I don't, I don't think they ever smell. I wouldn't even make a caveat. And your food is sanitary. I also, that's the thing I believe. And You're I'm not grateful. sanitary. What are you talking about? I'm saying. You're just in the sink. I'm grateful that their food is sanitary. I'm just saying. This guy bites best. his feet. Yeah, what are you talking about? Why are you disagreeing with me? I do bite my feet. I just want to say I, that is not a Scottish thing. I don't want you to put that on my community. That is a just me thing. Okay. Now, as far as the. <laughs> Sanitary. You're eating your own body. It's kind of a Haitian thing. <laughs> <laughs> Man, can we take oh, this? See, and this is the problem. It's like, it seems like they lean so heavily on these racist jokes. And it's such low-hanging fruit. It's just boring. Like, to constantly do this back and forth. And then, again, all of the ass patting and cracking up at what each other is saying. And... I laugh at racist jokes. I've laughed. At, I've laughed at racist jokes on this very channel. These just are not funny, in my opinion. Obviously, humor is subjective, but it's like, is this what y'all focus on most of the time? Like, where's the variety? Like, this just seems like such whack comedy, bro. There's oh, right. an apology. They're funny for their careers. But, I mean, apparently they're successful and people love it. But you gotta think, what type of people love this type of comedy? People who already have certain biases <laughs> and their biases are being validated. And they're like, yeah, I feel like this too. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, they're eating, they eating the cats and dogs. <laughs> you know, so it's like, mm, all right. For their lives well, here. Well, Santo, Haitians, I'm sorry. Okay. It is definitely not cool to be in that situation. And again, not be the ones to stand up and keep the cameras down. And we fucked it on that occasion. It's not going to happen again. And it's about being human, video? it's about realizing that you don't know what you're prepared for. You don't know how to prepare for something, something you don't know that you don't about, know what's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Once it's happened one time, you're like, pause, pause. You know what's mad funny about this? Is that they had shit that they asked to take out the episode. You know what they didn't ask to take out? Your racist slander. Mmm. Why is your nose switching? <laughs> they had shit. Their 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 producer, whatever, was like, "Hey, we really think that's inappropriate. We like to take that out. That's very uncomfortable." Their fight and flight instinct really kicked in after the power down. Mm. But with that joke about the black woman, nothing, nothing really seemed the fight or flight. Very was interesting. That confirms what the fuck I already thought. Very interesting. I want to know what they asked to be taken out then, if they were cool with that being left in. What 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 royalty do you have on them? Please show us. <laughs> your, delivery, your delivery was too good. Then. Maybe it, what they were. Especially since they threw Andrew under the bus and put all the blame on him, which I don't agree with that at all. But they trying to throw you under the bus, then yeah, throw them under the bus. Release the the, the shit they wanted you to take out. A delivery. Yeah. yeah. I like them. I don't. I feel bad they're going through this, but you don't got to protect anybody. That's what I would say. I to y'all personally, to y'all publicly, you don't gotta pretend your people are equal. What are you talking about? Okay, let's listen to the end of the politic. You learn from your mistakes. Um, and that's true. That's literally, that's literally, that's literally true. Some true. groups definitely need to be more protected than others. That's such a dumb take, bro. Because uh, some groups are attacked more than others. Like, let's let's not play dumb. 
Yeah, we fucked it and we're like we're sorry. But I just don't think they were that protection. That's my point. I don't I don't know who felt ever felt protected by these these niggas. <laughs> That that is where I disagree. But to be like, oh, you don't need to protect black women. They don't need to be protected. What's the? Are, are you are you are you that dense? You definitely don't apologize. It's for me like it's one of them ones where you you don't realize that like for one when you're part of a community you don't realize that you can hurt your own community. Mm, Especially when, when, when you're not yeah when when unintentionally unintentionally for real. And yeah. also on on top it's of that. True. It was so crazy. Yeah, they put up videos on it. The narrative that's been spun about how we feel about our community. Mm. Ooh, the irony of the fact that I don't the even see this apology. Did they take it down. To just show how much we love our but community and show channel. how much we love our supporters and how much time we spend at the shows and just like getting to know people mm. and just like understanding our community better and just like making friends and making bonds and showing love and they're showing love. And this whole six week trip was just about showing how much we love our community yeah, and how much our community show up, yeah. show up for us. And then <sighs> to have that exact same trip be the reason that we're having to, to have this conversation now. Um, but at the end of the day, um, Mistakes make you a better person. Mistakes do make you're you a better person. A per- you're not born blah, a perfect blah, person. Blah. Um, and yeah, we don't condone. We Look. don't appease that behavior. We don't. Break. All right, all right, all right. We get it. So, so here's the thing. Listen, I do have empathy for what they're going through. They're young into this content. Yeah, game. exactly. And, and, and this is what happens with a lot of people who are like funny on the internet, but they're not comedians. Yeah. So they so are still concerned about cancellation i think comedians we understand that being funny is saying inappropriate things yeah. sometimes that thing that's inappropriate is something about you mm. sometimes it's about other people but there's a skill that comes with that though and i don't feel like that is what makes you a comedian because there are some comedians who are not saying inappropriate things but sure if you want to make that argument there is a way that it's done um with with skill like you think of dave Chappelle, you think of bill burr like you think of people who are able to uh, be funny and uh, offensive <laughs> in a way that's just, it's undeniably funny, so it's not as offensive, basically. And when, when you're telling jokes, but you're constantly just offending people and you're trying to say the most outlandish shit just for shock value, are you really funny? The nature of being funny is something inappropriate happening yeah right and uh, i think I what, they, what they're doing what they don't realize is because they're young in the game we've all went through this it's like scary in the beginning you really think you're going to be canceled you're worried i'm sure that they have you know I people a lot of shit that's not inappropriate like, oh what if i have to go back and i have to get a regular not. job is it all over i i completely have empathy for that i get that what yeah. they don't realize is by apologizing you're just amplifying it. Yeah. The people that are upset at this, the majority of them don't even listen to the podcast. A lot of them are probably resentful of your success. And they're like, joke. why the fuck should these guys make all this money? And they're just like reacting to stupid videos on the internet and like telling stories. They're just friends. I'm just, I'm just friends. Yeah, I'm just friends. Why can't I have millions yeah. of dollars like they have? So there's, but they don't realize that. They really think it's their community. Your community still loves you. Your community still knows you. And if you actually have a community, like you say, which I do believe you do, they're not going to immediately throw you away because of one clip where you're laughing at a clear fucking joke. I was at the live show. They're not going anywhere. Your fans yeah, you said fucking the, love you. You said the amazing. live show was amazing. It's amazing. And your right. fans exactly. fucking love you. They're not going anywhere. But what you have done, and this yeah, is hopefully the right moment, think is that doing. you have empowered those people that are trying to cancel Perfect. you. Remember, the people trying to cancel you get off on you being canceled. You having to come out and apologize and bend to their whim and change the disposition of who you are. And it is a change, right? Because you had the ability to edit it out. You chose not to edit it out. Didn't mean anything to you to that. You only want to edit it, or you only want to talk about it now because of the negative reaction. If nobody reacted to it, you wouldn't go back and be like, we feel horrible and we have to protect our community and all this other bullshit you're saying. The learning lesson here is you do not apologize because you're just going to empower these people who aren't even part of your community in the first place. You guys have built something with... I agree. I agree. Stand on that shit. Know you and care about you. <laughs> but and that's that why I say I, I, don't, I don't respect how they went about this. Like, look, I say a whole bunch of out-of-line shit, okay? I ain't, I ain't apologize for nothing. I said what the fuck I said. <laughs> a lot of people disagree with me on a very regular basis. Very regular. Okay, people cuss me out, send me all type of weird DMs, mad, press, 
So I still feel how the fuck I feel. So I feel like they should have standed on it. So it just makes it seem like they have less of a backbone. So it's, it's like y'all were a bitch when y'all were laughing, you know, and kicking with him when he making jokes about your race of people. And you a bitch when you come on here and apologize because you got caught. Because you, you wasn't worried about apologizing when it first happened. So it just makes them look like bitches. Persuade them. Especially on a podcast where you're joking around. Like, it's it's ridiculous. That's a learning lesson. And I think also, when you're first going through that, you think about, oh, we have black female fans. I appreciate them so much. I think they must be so hurt by this. They're not hurt by this. You don't realize that. You start feeling empathy for people that don't feel bad, that weren't hurt. You know what I mean? You're like, yeah. oh, you're thinking about all the, the black girls you see at the live shows. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, those girls are probably so heartbroken. They think we're the No, they don't. They know who you are. That's 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 you are. They know that. I don't agree so with that. I agree with everything you said, but I, don't I think part. in their situation, I don't necessarily feel like they shouldn't apologize because their fan base is different. You guys are comedians. You cultivated a fan base that are used to edgy jokes. Mm -hmm. So their fans tuned into the show and heard them talk or laugh about jokes in a way that they've never done before. And so you, yeah, their fans true. can be disappointed. So right. like, I don't yeah. think it's wrong to necessarily apologize in that uh, aspect. I, I would I agree with you about. if... <laughs> or not wrong, but I would have The reaction to that episode happened immediately after it came out. There was no... Oh yeah. Negative reaction after it came out. This is like a month, two months, two months. after the episode came out. And what to me that's indicative of somebody who just likes canceling or causing nonsense on the internet. They're trying to like bait people with, you know, the the This is also on the back end of another thing about them. This supports the thing. It's also oh. possible that a lot of their fans didn't see it. What the fuck? They're not keeping up with everything they do and they they were on his podcast. So even if they were advertising it and telling people, hey, y'all, we did this podcast with Andrew, that people probably felt like, I don't even fuck with Andrew like that. Or I don't really care what they're saying on there anyway. I'll just, you know, catch you on your channel. So it's possible that they, their fans only saw that, or I, not all of them, obviously, but some of them only saw it when it went viral. And it's like, oh, I missed that. I didn't get to check out that podcast. I didn't know they said that or they laughed at that joke. Oh. People are already not liking them for whatever reason. And it's not because of them. It's because they're resentful, hateful, angry, bitter, jealous people who see these guys fucking killing it, being happy, having fun, all over. They're going for doing nothing. For doing nothing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Podcasting, like, it, it looks like it's the easiest thing in the world. And honestly, it's really not that hard. Like, yeah. I understand why people are resentful of the success of podcasts. Yeah, okay? of course. They don't have another thing that they can do to justify where they are. Like, we, we do stand-up. And everybody, you can say whatever you want about stand-up, but most people are scared to do it. Yeah. It is an art, a skill that you can refine. Like, yeah. say whatever you want about, like, Draymond Green's podcast. You can't talk that much shit about him hooping. Yeah. That shit is hard. You can't hoop like him. Yeah. You might be a critical, you say, oh, I can't shoot, whatever. But you can't hoop like him. Mm -hmm. You're not going to lock down seven footers yeah. at six, seven, or whatever the fuck he is like he does. And they don't have that other thing to justify yeah. what they have. Stand-up, most of you don't even get on the stage. So, exactly. Yeah. But, so yeah yeah so people are resentful so they they do this thing and then they find this podcast clip just justify whatever bs narrative they're spinning about these guys mm -hmm. and then they throw that on the fire and that's why i felt bad that like they're using us as a tool and, this, and the joke i didn't even know what the joke was i watched the joke it's so clearly a joke yeah no, it's yeah. so no, clearly it's, a joke it's like, and it's funny yeah. yeah okay we said some crazy we've said much crazier things and laughed at it that was so quick and so funny and such a turnaround Mm -hmm. That you just have to laugh at it. Mm -hmm. It's just taking what you said and then turning it around back yeah. on. I it's like verbal jujitsu, and that's why you laugh. Understand. I get the position, like it sucks. I do think they're nice guys, but I, yeah, they're all being in that spot. Like I just don't need ever need to apologize for laughing at a joke. Like if they came on and said the joke, then maybe they can be like, "Look, I did something wrong. I said a joke. I should have said my apologies." But like they just laughed at a joke. Like yeah. I laugh at shit that's fucked up. All the you like, see a fat person fall off a building and <laughs> die <laughs> and crush a, a school a daycare. Yeah. That's funny. Take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is a funny yeah. thing. You never saw that? Like, yeah. a fat person falling a million across an entire day. It's really funny. Yeah, it is it a is. crazy thing to yeah. happen. It's so tragic. Yeah, yeah. Israel does it all the time in Gaza. Yeah. Actually, that's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, is just on. this is just goofy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a more specific. It doesn't get less funny, but it's still pretty funny. Yeah, that is a good point. That is a good point. Maybe we went too far. Maybe you guys went too. Anyway, yeah. we don't have to bring it back to the juice, which is often what happens in that's conversation. What, that's what Dub does, though. He, he does always bring it back. Uh, always. Just kidding. But he had a great time in Vegas. Great time. He had good. good. It was not of course, they're not going to understand. But, you know, some black women are upset with shits and gigs because 
they are tired of being the butt of the joke, okay? There are a lot of instances online where black women are made to be the butt of the joke. Some people are over that. They're tired. <laughs> and it, it, it's sad to see black men, you know, who are kikiing and laughing with, with this white man, again, making black women the butt of the joke. And they're like, ha ha, this is so hilarious. Yeah, let's make fun of black women. So it, it, it goes deeper than it just being a joke. That was just a joke. Let it go. It's not, and it wasn't even a funny joke. They're like, oh, it's so funny. Was it? <laughs> That's also the problem. It's like, if it was hilarious, then okay, maybe it could be brushed off. Like, oh, that was just actually funny. It wasn't even funny. And of course, again, comedy is subjective, but it's like, it, it just seemed like he was trying to, you know, bring black women down a few notches because they were talking about a situation where black women are uplifting, you know, their, their white, husbands or whatever and they're you know making them uh glow up when they get in a relationship with with the black women and he's like no i don't like that so let's bring black women down a few notches like that's just how it came across so you know people were just annoyed by it and they they spoke out about it i don't think anybody is fucking outraged though so people being like oh i got so mad are they mad <laughs> people talk shit and give their opinions constantly on the internet that's what that's what people do just like you give your opinions are you outraged? Probably not, but you're gonna give your opinion. So that's what people are doing. Nobody is fucking protesting in the street about it. Nobody gives a fuck that much. Um, and I'm sure they're gonna continue to thrive and continue to do well. Um, it's not the end of the world, but you know, people are going to voice their opinions and they, they have every right to do that. Anyway, we can wrap up this situation. Okay, I've got a lot of requests about this whole drama and uh, I feel like we can conclude it here. Um, if you continue to support them, congrats. Nobody cares. <laughs> continue to support them it's fine life will go on y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see you on the next time bye